a black hole forms when you have atoms and matter coalesce, move together under the force of gravitation further and further and ultimately forms a body where the atoms and the subatomic particles are packed as densely as possible. We build a telescope that will allow us to look, to look and make an image and to see if that image agrees with the predictions of theory. The ultimate goal of this work is to understand in detail what exactly is going on in the center of our own galaxies, of our own galaxy. What is going on in the centers of other galaxies? How do these central structures actually form? How do they evolve? We want to understand what is the explanation for the occurrence of matter jets that emanate from the central regions and questions like this which ultimately tell us and work towards a better, a final understanding of the formation process of galaxies. The Event Horizon Telescope collaboration is an international team of scientists from uh, 13 original uh, partners around the world and um, the, uh, the aim of the collaboration is to, it's very specific, to image for the first time the supermassive central black holes and their environment in two sources. One is Sagittarius A star, the center of our galaxy, and the other is a neighboring galaxy that's not far away, M87. So our purpose is to image these supermassive black holes and their environments. The uh, collaboration came formally together about two years ago. In 2017, eight telescopes were used and they included the JCMT telescope of the East Asian Observatory that uh, China is a partner. The, uh, the central contribution that we work with very closely is from our colleagues in Shanghai. In Shanghai there is a long history in radio astronomy observations. In particular there is now a lot of interest in millimeter astronomy observations with the JCMT and other telescopes. So the participation was through the support in the observations with the telescope on Hawaii, but it is also through the analysis of the data and the interpretation. There is participation in the observing, but also in the analysis. But then later on there's also other scientists involved, particularly theoretical scientists involved in the interpretation of the results. We will observe the variability because these sources aren't all stable. Some of them vary and so we will see them in different stages of their activity and therefore can refine our understanding of the processes, how they form and evolve. And